Hey, Jules Buzz Vegan, and as always, welcome to my channel. And for those of you who are new, I know you can benefit. So I want to talk about the benefits of cucumber. What? I know. Look how beautiful this cucumber is. It is literally an 11 ounce cucumber. And I was reading that an 11 ounce cucumber only has 45 calories. And most people consider it free in the sense that it takes that many calories for your body to process it. And a lot of people don't even eat the skin, which is for sure an ounce of this. So, wow. All right, so let's learn about the seven health benefits of eating cucumber. Since I was a little girl, they were my favorite. Ah, oh, I liked pickles too, but I'm telling you, crunching on a healthy cucumber, it still makes me so happy. All right, so it reads, and of course, from Healthline.com, for which I will share in the description of this video. It reads, so commonly thought to be a vegetable, cucumber is actually a fruit. All right, my friends, here's the exam. Why is it considered in the fruit family? Da, na, 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 na. What? Da, na, na. Because what? Exactly. <laughs> because it has seeds. And if something has seeds, it's considered a fruit. You are so smart. Seriously. Okay, though commonly thought to be a vegetable, cucumber is actually a fruit. It is high in beneficial nutrients as well as certain plant compounds and antioxidants that may help treat and even prevent some conditions. Let's learn more. Also, cucumbers are low in calorie and contain a good amount of water and soluble fiber, making them ideal for promoting hydration and aiding in weight loss. This article takes a closer look. Number one is high in nutrients. Cucumbers are low in calories, which is a hyperlink, but high in many important vitamins and nutrients. One 11 ounce, what a coincidence, unpeeled, oh my bad, unpeeled, raw cucumber contains the following. Calories, 45. Total fat, 0 grams. Carbs, 11 grams. Fiber, are you ready for this? 2 full grams. Vitamin C, 14% of the recommended daily. Vitamin K, 62% of the recommended daily. Magnesium, 10%. Potassium, 13%. And RDI, 13%. Manganese, 12%. Although the typical serving size is about one-third of a cucumber, for whom, not me, I'm telling you, just like eating a bell pepper like it's an apple, I just get a cucumber and mow it. <laughs> so eating a standard portion would provide about one third of the nutrients above. Additionally, cucumbers have a high water content. In fact, cucumbers are made up of about 96% water. Wow. To maximize their nutrient content, cucumbers should be eaten unpeeled. Oh, I love that. I didn't even know that. Peeling them reduces. Oh, forgive me. I'm saying that backwards, aren't I? unpeeled as in with the peel <laughs> okay that is hilarious uh all right it doesn't even matter that it's after 11 o'clock at night i have to be more awake than that right okay unpeeled peeling them reduces the amount of fiber as well as certain vitamins and minerals i agree but if it isn't um i want to say kosher <laughs> organic uh you'll it's in your best interest to peel it. But okay, my bad. So yeah, this entire thing was 45 calories unpeeled. Summary. Cucumbers are low in calories but high in water and several important vitamins and minerals. Eating cucumbers with the peel provides the maximum amount of nutrients. Remember, Healthline always has that summary and the bottom line. It contains antioxidants. Antioxidants are molecules that block oxidation, a chemical reaction that forms highly reactive atoms with unpaired electrons known as free radicals. The accumulation of these harmful free radicals can lead to several types of chronic illness. In fact, oxidative stress caused by free radicals has been associated with cancer and heart lung and autoimmune disease. I'm so sorry. All right, fruit and vegetables include cucumbers. They're especially rich in beneficial antioxidants that may reduce the risk of these conditions. One study measured the antioxidant power of a cucumber by supplementing 30 older adults with cucumber powder. 
How interesting. I didn't even know that existed. At the end of the 30-day study, cucumber powder caused a significant increase in several markers of antioxidant activity and improved antioxidant status. However, it's important to note that the cucumber powder used in this study likely contained a greater dose of antioxidants than you would consume in a typical serving of cucumbers. Another test tube study investigated the antioxidant properties of cucumbers and found that they contain flavonoids and tannins, which are two groups of compounds that are especially effective at blocking harmful free radicals. And of course, there's hyperlink. I would counter argue that your body will always process more efficiently and know what to do with natural fruit and vegetables than a powder. <laughs> so it might cancel itself out right there. I'm going to skip the summary and you can read those on your own if you are not much of a reader. Number three, it promotes hydration. I wonder why. Oh yeah, 96% water. Water is crucial to your body's function, playing numerous important roles. It is involved in processes like temperature regulation and the transportation of waste products and nutrients. In fact, proper hydration can affect everything from physical performance to metabolism. When you meet the majority of your food needs by drinking water or other liquids, some people may get as much as 40% of their total water intake from food. Fruit and vegetables in particular can be a good source of water in your diet. Let me go back. While, while, like in addition, while you meet the majority of your fluid needs by drinking water or other liquids, some people may get as much as 40% of their total water intake from food. In one study, hydration status was assessed and diet records were collected for 442 children. They found that increased fruit and vegetable intake was associated with improvements in hydration status. You think? <laughs> when kids just take a quick little sip out of the drinking fountain, they're not getting enough. So yeah, I understand why it increased with water-dense foods. Because cucumbers are composed of about 96% water, they are especially effective at promoting hydration and can help you meet your daily fluid needs. Sidebar, I have to mention that when I first became vegan and was striving for raw vegan all those years ago, <laughs> it's been about a year and a half, um, I accidentally, in overreading and getting opinions from everybody, decided that I could get my fluids just from fruit and vegetables, and I went for broke. And I felt really hydrated, but all of a sudden I was getting what seemed like a urinary tract infection, which was really foreign to me. Like it's nothing I ever got. And I went to the doctor like three different times and they tested me and they were like, chick, give it up. You don't have a urinary tract infection. And I'm like, no, I swear I do. I'm having pain and, and a pulling and it seems like a urinary tract infection. And they were like, well, we checked for, you know, what are they called? <laughs> Okay, it's after 11 and I'm tired, but what is it called? Come on, what are the little things that say you have an infection? Bacteria, thank you. We checked to the bacteria, da-da-da, you don't have the infection. So then somebody in all of their brainstorming decided to check my hydration level. And despite my amazing amounts of fruit and vegetables, all incredibly hydrated. And it was summer, so I had like watermelon too. I was seriously dehydrated. Like my husband was a 15. What was considered like normal was 13. And I was eight. And he was just like, girl, you got to quit that diet. <laughs> I was like, no, I need to add water along with all that nutrition. Well, it was really scary, but no surprise, the infections, the mystical infections cleared up. Please drink water along with your fruit and vegetables. Number four, it may aid in weight loss. Why not? I mean, look at this. This is a lot of quantity right here. If anything, you will feel this when you consume it. Um, me too, actually. <laughs> I was going to say, maybe not me. I have an uncanny ability to consume a lot. But no, I would, I, it would register for me. Okay, cucumbers could potentially help you lose weight in a few different ways. First of all, they're low in calories. 
Each one cup serving contains just 16 calories, while an entire 11 ounce, and that's the example I have right there, cucumber contains only 45 calories. This means that you can eat plenty of cucumbers without packing on the extra calories that lead to weight gain. Seriously, could you really imagine consuming 10 of these? If you were like mono mealing, even if you did it only be 450 calories. Uh, cucumbers can add freshness and flavor to salad sandwiches and side dishes and may also be used as a replacement for higher calorie alternatives. That's true. You can use it to thicken sauces and things like that. Just take into account that it'll be watery, right? Furthermore, the high water content of cucumbers could aid in weight loss as well. One analysis looked at 13 studies, including 3,628 people. That is significant and found that eating foods with high water and low calorie contents was associated with a significant decrease in body weight. Yes, please. <laughs> okay, number five, it may lower blood sugar, which everybody needs. Uh, raise your hand if you're pre-diabetic. Did you see that? It was more than half the country. Several animal and test tube studies have found that cucumbers why animals and test tubes? Check a human, please. Check a human. May help reduce blood sugar levels and prevent some complications of diabetes. One animal study examined the effects of various plants on blood sugar. Cucumbers were shown to effectively reduce and control blood sugar levels. Another animal study. People, I can't get away from this. And it used to not even, like, it always concerned me. But it didn't freak me out. Now it's starting to freak me out. Because it's so more unnecessary than ever. Like I just saw one of my little kids who was dissecting a frog. Why today? When they have virtual... There's no need to dissect a frog. Any, I was going to say a human frog. Anymore. And I don't think we need to do this either. Ask a human and then check their blood. Ask a vegan and then check their blood. A raw vegan. Thank you. Another animal study indicated diabetes in mice, God bless them, and then supplemented them with cucumber peel extract. Oh, forgive me, I misread that they induced diabetes in mice. So wrong. And then supplemented them with this cucumber peel extract. Cucumber peel reversed most of the diabetes-associated changes and caused a decrease in blood sugar. Well, if you stop infusing them with diabetes... No surprise the diabetes would subside, right? In addition, one test tube study found that cucumbers may be effective at reducing oxidative stress and preventing diabetes-related complications. Was that from a human study? Hold on, I gotta check because I'm freaking out. I would love it if they finally said, yeah, from a human. God, these are like so scientific. Luckily, I'm educated. Let me see what it says, please. Stress, essential, mandatory roles, cytotoxicity, induced, aqueous extract C. It can be concluded that C, sativas, has protective effects in diabetes complications and can be said to have been suitable candidate for decrease in oxidative stress and cognal. All right, anyway, no, it was in a test tube. It was a test tube thingy. <laughs> let me pray I can get back can I get back I would love for you if you let me get back oh yes God's grace okay however the current evidence is limited to test tube and animal studies for no reason at all come on further research is needed to determine how cucumbers may affect blood sugar number six it could promote regularity like going potty right number two <laughs> Dehydration is a major risk factor for constipation, as it can alter your water balance and make the passage of stool difficult. Cucumbers are high in water and promote hydration. Staying hydrated can improve stool consistency, prevent constipation, and help maintain regularity. Moreover, cucumbers contain fiber, which helps regulate bowel movements. In particular, pectin, the type of soluble fiber found in cucumbers, can help increase bowel movement frequency. One study had 80 participants, humans, supplement with pectin. It found that pectin sped up the movement of the intestinal muscles, all while feeding the beneficial bacteria in the gut that improved digestive health. 
Yay. Number seven is easy to add to your diet. Mild with a distinctly crisp and refreshing flavor, I agree. Cucumbers are commonly enjoyed fresh or pickled in everything from salads to sandwiches. Cucumbers are also often eaten raw as a low-calorie snack or can be paired with hummus, olive oil, salt, or salad dressing to add a bit more flavor. With just a bit of creativity, cucumbers can be enjoyed in many ways. Here are a few recipes. I'll see if any of them are safe. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna read them all, but baked cucumber chips, better than fried. Quick pickled cucumbers, interesting. Thai cucumber salad, all right. Strawberry lime, cucumber, and mint infused water. Yes, please. Cucumber and mint sorbet. What? And cucumber goat cheese grilled cheese. No longer. <laughs> I gotta check out that cucumber and mint sorbet. Hold on a second. I would love it if this was edible. First of all, it looks, uh, it looks beautiful. I'm only repeating what everyone around me has been saying. But whoa, where did this year go? I can't believe we're only three. Okay, never mind. Let's keep going. I'll keep this post relatively short. Too late. Just kidding. I've uh, been waiting, wanting to make it sorbet, luscious looking, cucumber lychee, la la la. Oh, let's see. Sunday. I can totally recommend. <laughs> I'm sorry. And I still don't have a tripod, so you're bouncing with me. Um, I did not get to the recipe yet, but the kitchen is closed and only the tea bar is open. And that is just looking too tempting for me. So I'm out. I am out. Okay. Let me finish the bottom line. Bottom line, which I love. Cucumbers are a refreshing, nutritious, and incredibly versatile addition to any diet. They are low in calories, but contain many important vitamins and minerals, as well as high water content. Eating cucumbers may lead to many potential health benefits, including weight loss, balanced hydration, digestive regularity, and lower blood sugar levels. Yay for cucumbers! All right, my friends. Once again, this is an 11 ounce one, ton of food right here, all powerful and delicious. I encourage you keeping on the peel, but for me, only if it's organic, um, unless you just trust it, you know, I think some of those things cancel out ultimately. I mean, so many things, certainly anything dead on a shelf, right? Any toys are automatically cancer. At least there's some life inside that peel that might be able to balance a little bit there. I am a God-fearing person. He has plans for me, and I am staying on the planet. I do as much as organic as I can. I clean the rest and pray my way. All right, so like if you like, join us if you haven't. Subscribe. Let me know in the comments below. Do you love cucumbers? Are you willing to retry them now that you're more informed if you gave up on them? I'd love to know. As always, know that I pray for you and trust that you're blessed.